Today, we're going to look at getting set up with your Evo 16 audio interface for the very first time. In the box, you'll find the following items. An Evo 16, the quick start guide, a USB-C to type A cable, and a power cable. If you have ordered the optional rack mount ears and would like to use the unit in a rack, you must first remove the four feet on the bottom of Evo 16 using a crosshead screwdriver and use the supplied screws to screw the rack ears to either side of the unit. Then simply mount Evo 16 in the rack. To get started, connect Evo 16 to mains power using the supplied power cable. Then connect it to your computer using the USB-C to A cable. If you have a computer with USB-C ports, you'll need to get a USB-C to C cable. Evo 16 will now power on and you'll be taken through the initial setup on the unit itself. You'll be prompted to select and customize settings such as the hardware LED brightness and the monitoring feature assigned to the function button. Once you're happy, just go ahead and save your settings. The screen will then change to display your input metering. You can toggle through what the screen displays by pressing the main knob or by pressing one of the input or output channel buttons. To get back to the settings screen, just hold down the main knob for one and a half seconds. Evo 16 is compatible with both Mac and Windows computers. So to begin with, download and install the appropriate drivers for your computer from our website. This will install and give you access to the Evo Mixer, where you're able to route your audio, control various Evo 16 settings, as well as ensure that your Evo 16 is kept up to date with latest firmware. On a Mac, simply drag the app from the installer into the applications folder. When you open it, an Evo icon will appear in the menu bar where you can access various features of Evo 16. To set Evo 16 as your audio device, simply go to System Preferences, Sound, and then select Evo 16 as the device for both your input and your output. On Windows, once you've downloaded and installed the driver, follow the installation process through. Once installed, open the app, which will create an Evo icon in the system tray. Here you can access the various features of Evo 16. To set Evo 16 as the sound device, open the Windows Settings app, go to Sound, and select Evo 16 as your input and output device. On older versions of Windows, this can be done from the sound menu in the control panel. So now you have Evo 16 connected, it's time to get some audio going. To start recording with Evo 16, plug your microphones or instruments into the input connectors. If you're using an instrument such as an electric guitar or bass, ensure you're using either input one or two on the front panel and that you've set the input to instrument mode by pressing the channel and then the instrument button. If you're using a condenser microphone, you'll need to use phantom power. Simply press the input that the mic is plugged into and press the 48 volt button. The red light on the 48 button will illuminate to indicate that phantom power is now on and you'll also be prompted on Evo 16 screen as well. So now you have signal coming in, you can easily set your input levels using Evo 16's smart gain feature. To do this, press the green smart gain button, then tap the inputs you wish to set the gain for and press the smart gain button again to begin the process. If you want to quickly select all eight inputs for use with Smart Gain, hold down the Smart Gain button and you will see all the channels light up. Tap the Smart Gain button again to start the process. The screen will also indicate that Smart Gain is now active and the LEDs will animate. Now start performing into your mics or playing your instrument and Evo 16 will analyze the incoming signal as you're playing and set your levels correctly. If Smart Gain has been successful, you'll receive a Smart Gain complete indication on screen and you're good to go. If Smart Gain fails or one or more channels, a failure indication will be displayed on Evo 16 screen, showing you which channels it failed on. Errors are most commonly caused by loosely connected cables, faulty cables, or not having phantom power turned on when using a condenser mic. If you don't want to use Smart Gain or you just want to adjust the levels yourself, you can set your gain manually by pressing one of the input buttons and then turning the main knob until you're happy with the level. You can also quickly mute any of the inputs by holding down the relevant input button. The channel LED will flash and a mute indication will be displayed on the screen. Next, open up your audio software. In most software, you'll need to set Evo 16 as your input device, which is typically done in the preferences of the software. Check with the manual for your favorite software on how to do this. Now create a new track in your recording software and set the input channel to the input you're using. Hit record and you're away. So this is only half of the setup. We need to get sound out of the unit. To listen back to what you're recording, you'll need to plug speakers into the outputs found on the back of the unit. Typically, you will want to plug them into outputs one and two. Alternatively, you can listen on headphones by plugging them into the headphone connections on the front panel. 
You can adjust the volume of each of the outputs by pressing the corresponding output button and then rotating the main knob. Again, you can quickly mute an output by holding down any of the output buttons and a mute indication message will be displayed on the screen. Evo 16 can be used with the Evo Mixer, which lets you control exactly what's coming out of your speakers and headphones, including listening to your live inputs with ultra low latency, ensuring you can hear what you're playing alongside your computer or door playback without any distracting delays. You're also able to create custom headphone mixes for when working with other people who may want to hear a different balance of levels to the main mix. Here, you can also control other settings and configurations within Evo 16, such as selecting the function of the F button by right-clicking on one of the monitoring features or setting up talkback to allow you to communicate into your artist's headphones. For an in-depth look at the Evo Mixer and all its functionality, please watch the Evo Mixer overview video. Once you're finished with your session, you can put Evo 16 into standby mode by holding down the main knob for five seconds. To turn it back on, simply press the main knob. If you want to learn more about Evo 16, please check out some of our other videos or Evo 16 documentation on our website. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos and tutorials on recording with Evo 16. And if you need any help getting set up, head over to the help pages of our website or get in touch.